Metal spikes installed outside luxury flats in Southwark have provoked outcry. Apparently, they were placed there to stop homeless people from sleeping in the doorway. It's caused a storm on social media, with some claiming the spikes liken homeless people to pigeons. That's what our poll question's been about all day. We're asking, are Londoners unsympathetic to rough sleepers? Head over to londonlive.co.uk to take part in that. And London Live went to the area and caught up with Charles Hunt, the principal and chief executive of the British School of Osteopathy, which is a next door to the flats which is in Southwark Bridge Road. It is not something I would do myself but spikes up outside a building if I lived there it is something that we don't feel we would support um, and our values are that we want to help people who are less fortunate than ourselves and really look at supporting them to get out of the homeless situation rather than put them off being able to sleep somewhere. We do work with her homeless drop-in centre, have done for over 15 years providing free of charge treatment to homeless people so it kind of against, goes against all the values we have to support those people there is issues that some people might feel it protects the property and value of their property not to have homeless people in there there is some view that that, that might be the case but i'm sure there could be better ways of doing it that don't look quite so medieval and unsupported really of a number of people who are perhaps homeless through no thought of their own we haven't been consulted at all about them uh, to be fair to the owners of the flats they're not our entrance to the building unfortunately on the back of it though everyone has assumed the British School of Osteopathy has been involved in those spikes being put in place and it's something myself personally in the school doesn't really feel should be there Right now, I'm joined by Paul Atherton, who's homeless and is a social filmmaker, and Jack Hart from the Freedom Association. Now, Paul, how does this sort of thing make you feel? Well, I think part of the problem is it is actually sort of highlighting a physical manifestation of the feelings towards homelessness by some Londoners. And it's really hard to believe that, like, less than two years ago when London hosted the Olympics and everybody was embracing, that we're now looking at these sort of barbaric spikes that have protruding. I mean, obviously, the, the interesting thing about this is this was a Twitter storm that's created this new story, but the spikes have been there for months, if not years. Um, the Labour HQ have got them outside. Um, and I think what it does is it tells people that, as the commentator said, that homeless people are almost cheaper than animals. We should dispose of them rather than fixate on the problem and the causation of homelessness and try and address it and be embraced and try and encourage sort of societal cohesion. We're, we're saying, look, we don't, want it, we don't want you around here. We're trying to hide rather than help people. And is this, is this something that you can, you can relate to? Is this something you've seen living on the streets? Yeah, I mean, um, well, the problem with, with street living is that you, you, once you get to that level, when, once your sort of life is deconstructed to that level, you are literally on a day-to-day -day basis just trying to hold your sanity together. So anything that sort of says, hey, you're not wanted here, you're not welcome here, is yet another barrier to overcome. And that, uh, yeah, that, that really is destructive. I mean, Jack, we've got Paul here saying that that sort of thing is, it just makes him, makes a bad situation even worse for him living on the streets. And I can imagine something um, maybe many people um, living on the streets feel. You know, what are your thoughts and take on perhaps this association? We don't even know who's behind it yet. They're still yet to come forward but the steps that whoever is behind it how do you feel about the steps that they've taken here well I think people do have a right to protect their private property and do what they want with their own property personally I think the spikes are quite barbaric and they don't look particularly nice you know they could have put some ornamental pot plants there and it would have had the same effect and it just wouldn't have looked as bad but I think the important thing we've got to bear in mind it is people's private property they can do what they want with it now the people that are complaining on Twitter, I understand why they are, actually if they focus far more of their attention onto helping people who are homeless and dealing with homeless people and helping them find you know, homes and places to stay, it would be far more effective than just starting a petition and sort of shouting at the, um, the, you know, the Southwark flats that have done this. Is that a fair point? To a point. Um, I, I think it's, it's this notion of property over poverty I always have plenty of issue with now. We, we live in um, an economy that's getting more and more unequal. Um, and if we're concerned about, oh, there may be somebody grabbing shelter in our doorway, this may be devaluing our property or something of that ilk. I think that makes us as a society very important. But I think, I think there could have perhaps been safety concerns as well. There are. I mean, yeah, I mean, you've got, you've got children that could fall over. This is what everybody's saying. Eventually, somebody's going to have an accident. They're going to skewer themselves, and they're going to sue the building. So actually, any kind of savings that they made on their property, they're going to end up paying in damage claims. Um, but yeah, I, I just think it's attitudinal. I, th I think we need, as, as a city, to start to unite together as, as a group of people that actually want to care about our city. And as rightly pointed out, to focus on the problem. 
Um, but I think actually the spikes in terms of sort of placing things in property, it, again, it just reaffirms things in people's mind that it's acceptable. This isn't a new thing, is it? With these these sorts of spikes turning up around, no, around London? No, it's not. No, it, it, it isn't. As I said before, it's been going on for, for some time. But it is interesting that people have complained about it, and it takes a Twitter storm for it to become newsworthy. Um, you know, and if you wander around London, you'll see them everywhere. Um, I, but as rightly pointed out, they, a lot of the time they're not done as barbaric as this. I think this is what it. Really so, so you think they should try to, to make, make sure homeless people don't sleep outside, just it's the way they did it is what you're unhappy yeah, with? Yeah, I, I don't think the way they've gone about it is the best possible um, but way. But is that fair? Is that fair trying to get rid of people if you, if you actually see the alcove? It seems like, you know, if you're on the streets, it seems like you're gonna, you could potentially stay warmer, you could stay out of the rain. It seemed like a, a decent place for someone see, living on the streets One of the things I've actually found really odd with this whole Twitter storm is it's almost as if everyone's saying, well, the spike shouldn't be there, so it's OK for someone to sleep there. I actually think we're sort of almost missing the entire point with the entire sort of campaign that we're saying, well, because the spikes are there, isn't it awful that someone can't sleep in that doorway? I'd far rather we were saying, isn't it awful someone wants to sleep in that doorway and do something about it? I think in reality, looking at how we sort of shape and help with homelessness, if we did things like sort of cut regulation, made building property far easier in London, it would actually bring prices down. If we had lower taxes, people would have more money, be able to afford things. There is things we can change as a society which affect homelessness and make it you know, such a problem in the capital. So you know, why don't we actually be, have a debate about having less regulation on building housing, less taxation so you keep more of your wages, and deal with homelessness that way, rather than just have a Twitter storm because someone's put some spikes outside a, you know, a well-off building. All right, now, um, Southwark Council, now they're not involved in the installation of those spikes outside the property at 118 Southwark Bridge Road, and um, they've, set, they've come out with a statement, it's one of the first statements they've released in regards to this, and they say, we do not feel this is the best way to deal with the problem. The spikes were not part of the original planning application for the building, but would be considered too small to come under planning enforcement. The spikes were, um, well, as I said, they're not part of the um, uh, planning permission, and they actually they do, there's nothing that they need to do um, about that. Now, how, how do you feel about this? Now, Southwark Council they said they're not behind it. Um, it wasn't part of the planning permission. However, they're not really breaking any real regulations here. Um, I, eventually, it's going to be down to the property, what they do. I mean, I, I think they will probably acquiesce and remove them, I would suspect, just purely from a public relations exercise in this regard now. Um, but again, we, we, we see this all the time where, where councils and things kind of step back and go, well, it's nothing to do with us. And I actually think it is everything to do with them. I think, you know, they've been elected, they, they should be addressing these problems. But of course, what they have to do is they have to address the fundamental problem, which is homelessness in their borough. Um, and of course, they're not dealing with that effectively at all. Interestingly enough, I mean, do you think that we're now putting pressure on how people should behave and how people people should, should build things? Is this, do you think this could be an encroachment on our freedoms? I, th I think to an extent it is, because in the grand scheme of things, it's private property. If they want to put the spikes there, they're entitled to do. I, I am quite interested in the fact that there's been such an outrage about these particular flats. Given this is quite common, I think there's something to be looked at in the fact that it's in Southwark. It's a very, very wealthy area, a very, very expensive tower block where they cost about £800,000 for a flat. If this had happened somewhere else, I don't necessarily think there would have been the same storm. I think there is an element of this that it is seen as people who have expensive houses trying to maintain their property prices. But I really do think when a council, if a council does step in and try and stop them from doing this, it is an encroachment on private property, which is fundamentally important. If you own something, you should be able to do what you want with it. I wouldn't choose to do it, but you know.